If you want to know the best sport movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1990s. Who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's the team. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. White Man Can't Jump, 1992. And you've been beat, well, not once, but twice by a slow, white, geeky chump. <laughs> white Man Can't Jump is a 1992 sports comedy drama film written and directed by Ron Shelton and stars Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson. Offering a refreshing comedic take on the sports genre, White Men Can't Jump follows a charismatic trio of leads on their way to fame and success. When two basketball hustlers of two different skin colors team up to double their chance of winning money on the street courts, and even in a basketball tournament, trouble is in sight. You guys look at me, you see the backwards hat, the uh, gray socks, the funky outfit, and you say, now this guy's a chump, am I right? No, a fucking geek. A, a fucking like. geek. geek, exactly, like all right? But what you don't realize is that it ain't easy. It is hard <laughs> goddamn work making something this pretty look like a chump or a geek. Number nine. He Got Game, 1998. I want you to go to Big State, son. That's the real reason why I'm out here. That's the reason they let me out. He Got Game is a 1998 sports drama film written and directed by Spike Lee and stars Denzel Washington, Ray Allen, and Mia Jovovich. Combining trenchant commentary with impactful visual and master performances, He Got Game is the dramatic and thrilling story of Jake Shuttlesworth, who tries to get one last chance in life. Doing the best that he can as a prison inmate, he wants to earn an early release by getting his estranged son to take place in a massive New York basketball event. They may let me out on an early parole. So that's what this is all about, huh? That's a part of it. That's Jake, most you of just it. like everybody else. I like everybody else. I ain't like everybody else. Everybody else ain't your father. Everybody else ain't bring you in this world. Everybody else don't care about you, son. Number eight. Any Given Sunday, 1999. We're gonna crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. Any Given Sunday is a 1999 sports drama film directed by Oliver Stone and stars Al Pacino, Cameron Diaz, Dennis Quaid, Jamie Foxx, and LL Cool J. For Tony D'Amato, a professional football coach, sport is life. But with things getting out of hand, Tony faces drastic changes that are about to threaten his peace. While trying to handle bullheaded team members, injuries, and his personal life, his worst nightmare is his team's owner, a young and enthusiastic woman who's sure his way is the wrong one. If you're gonna act like a loser, raise your hand. If you're gonna act like pussy, raise your hand. What the hell are you doing, Jake? I didn't want you to be the only pussy with his hand raised, coach, so I figured I'd help you out. <laughs> Number seven. Cool Runnings, 1993. It's kind of a winter sport, you know. You mean winters in igloos and Eskimos and penguins and ice? Possibly. See you. Cool Runnings is a 1993 comedy sports film directed by John Turtletaub and stars Leon Robinson, Doug E. Doug, Raul D. Lewis, Malik Yoba, and John Candy. Fictionalizing the true story of a bobsledding team from Jamaica making it into the Olympics, Cool Runnings is defined by a light-hearted tone and charming comedy. When sports champ Doris Bannock can't participate on the major tournament, he must find someone to fill his place, leading him to Jamaican bobsledder Irv to coach a team that couldn't be more different. It's good to have you as a teammate, Brenna. Let's get one thing straight, Bannock. We may be on the same team, but I am no one's teammate. As long as you come here to bobsled. Number six. The Boxer, 1997. You're not ready. You're enough, son. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Finish him. The Boxer is a 1997 sports drama film directed by Jim Sheridan and stars Daniel Day-Lewis and Emily Watson. Defined by the incredible performances from its leading actors, The Boxer picks up good old drama while revolving around Jim Sheridan, a professional Irish boxer. Trying to find true love and even more difficult, keeping it, while also proving his ability and class in the cage, Jim must learn to overcome his thick-headedness. Did you expect me to remain faithful to you? 
I suppose I did. Thought I was being romantic. Yeah. Giving you your freedom or something. You were giving me my freedom, but you wanted me to stay faithful to you. I was only 19. Number five. Happy Gilmore, 1996. He's laughing, he's having a good time. Good for you. Yeah, laugh it up. Enjoy your night. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, Happy, concentrate. Happy Gilmore is a 1996 sports comedy film directed by Dennis Dugan and stars Adam Sandler, Christopher McDonald, and Carl Weathers. Many describe Happy Gilmore as the origin of the typical Sandler flick, while the movie offers a lot more than bland humor. When a failed hockey player turns into an unconventional gold whiz, he is determined to win an important tournament to save his grandmother's house with the prize money. But the way there is way more difficult than expected. Son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Suck my white ass, Paul! <laughs> Number 4. A League of Their Own, 1992. You let the tying run get on second, and we lost the lead because of you! Now you start using your head! That's not love! That's three feet above your ass! A League of Their Own is a 1992 sports comedy drama film directed by Penny Marshall and stars Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell, and Lori Petty. This sports flick is impressing through its sentimental charm combined with a wonderfully light tone. Back in World War II, when the men were fighting in Europe and Asia, the baseball era was heavily influenced by more and more women teams that had the chance to change sports itself, resulting in this beautiful yet dramatic take on history. Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. <laughs> Number three. Jerry Maguire, 1996. Did you not tell my wife more personal attention? I said more personal attention. Good, because we just getting started on my list of things you need to know. Jerry Maguire is a 1996 romantic comedy drama sports film written and directed by Cameron Crowe and stars Tom Cruise, Cuba Gooding Jr., and Renee Zellweger. Jerry Maguire is a man of smart business. As a top agent of Sports Management International, his future is secured and his name famous across the country. But after being fired for saying the wrong things too loud, we witness his tragic fall from grace. Can Jerry resurrect his career while still staying true to himself? Anybody else would have left you by now, but I'm sticking with you. I said I would. And if I got to ride your ass like Zorro, you're going to show me the money. You're going to show me the money. Number two, The Hurricane, 1999. That book is the only thing I got left in here. You understand me? That's the only chance I got to get out of here. The Hurricane is a 1999 biographical sports drama film directed by Norman Jewison and stars Denzel Washington, John Hanna, Deborah Kara Unger, and Lee Schreiber. Often considered one of the, or even the best Denzel Washington performance, The Hurricane revolves around the truly devastating story of 1966 top-ranked middleweight boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter. When wrongly convicted and charged for murder, he must take one more fight to win. But this time, it is for his freedom and innocence. We, the jury, find the defendants, Reuben Carter and John Artis, guilty on all counts. Oh, no! No! Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. But today, it's me and Gus. I never ask you any other time, okay? Good. Glad you agree. Can't argue about this right now. Gotta warm up. What slip of the tongue? No, no, no. All right, that's it. Come on, guys. No, do, do it! it. Do it. Do it. Look at their form, that left arm way out is the usual style. Wow, beautiful, right off the bat. He delivers on the goods, look at him pump up this crowd. Number one, Rudy, 1993. I wanted to run out of that tunnel for my dad, to prove to everyone prove that I worked. what? 
Rudy is a 1993 biographical sports film directed by David Anspaugh and stars Sean Astin, Ned Beatty, Jason Miller, and Charles S. Dutton. It tells the story of Daniel Rudiger, who harbored dreams of playing football at the University of Notre Dame despite significant obstacles. His grades were a too low and he was only half the size of the other players, but he is determined to overcome the odds and has set his sights upon joining the team. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, it ain't gonna never happen. Now go on back. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.